Pass interference is called when a defensive back prevents the receiver from making a play on the ball. In this particular play, the CBC defensive back swats the ball away from the Hazelwood central receiver. Should pass interference be called? Should there be a penalty at all? Coming up, the official perspective. This play is an illustration of defensive pass interference. The defender plays through the offensive receiver, taking away his right to move towards catch or bat the ball. That constitutes defensive pass interference. If the penalty is accepted, it's administered from the previous spot, 15 yards, and carries an automatic first down. If the official determines that the defender, number 44, touched the ball, the restrictions would have ended and this play would be legal. 